Hi there, my name is Gavin Stewart, I'm the head pastry chef at Clifton House Hotel. Uh, I'm here today to do a class with the students uh, from the Chef's Forum. Um, today we're going to be making a baked uh, passion fruit custard tart with meringue, bitter chocolate, vanilla ice. Yeah, so if we can all get our pastry weighed out, so if we've all read through the method, so we're going to cream the butter and the sugar. Yeah, so basically we need soft butter and your sugar all mixed into one bowl. What we're going to do is beat that until it's nice and pale. Then we're going to slowly add in the eggs, and then lastly we're going to add in the flour and we'll work in the flour slowly and gently. The reason why we do the flour last for this recipe is we don't want to overwork the gluten. It becomes very elastic. So when we go to roll it out, it's just going to shrink back in. Then when you line your tart case, it's going to look perfect, but by the time you cook it, it's going to shrink in. And you're going to start off with the case that size, by the time it's cooked, it's going to be down there. So you need to work the gluten as little as possible. Okay? So once we've done that, then we'll get onto the vanilla ice cream. The recipes, we've got milk, we've got whipping cream, sugar, egg yolks and vanilla, yeah? So if we read the method, we're going to heat the milk, the cream and the sugar. Right? Then we're going to pour that over the egg yolks. So if I was making that, what I would be doing is weighing my milk, my cream, my sugar, straight into a pan. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now, does everyone want to have a quick look at this? Guys, and then we'll... look. So once your milk's hit, hit up and it's just about to start boiling, Put a little bit over your eggs, okay? Give it a little whisk together. Pour it back in. And at this point, because we've got eggs, you need to stir it continuously, okay? So can you make, you make sure you've got a whisk before you um, start, you please, guys? Okay? Keep don't want us to get too hot. That needs to come up to about 84 degrees. You see how that's starting to get a lot thicker now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Effectively, we'll pass, we'll put everything through the sieve, yeah. we'll put them all together and then... We'll put it straight in, in. okay. So we'll just put it all into one batch and we'll put it all in the machine, yeah? Alright. So if everybody and wants to pour... why are we passing it again, Chef? Look, anything that's ever made, like a pasta, anything that's got eggs in it, I would always put it through the So, we've got a pasta, yeah? We've got the ice cream machine. So we'll just pour that straight into the machine. Like that. And start mixing that straight away. We don't need to put the lid on just now, okay? Because you can see there's still steam coming off it. If we put the lid on, what's going to happen is the steam is going to make condensation inside. You're going to have water dripping in. So we leave the lid off just now. We'll let that cool down. Once that cools down, then we can put the lid on. Happy with how things are going. Yeah, so far well, everybody seems to be on track. Okay. Uh, I think they're all enjoying it. Oh, it is, look at that. So, flour both sides, yeah? Flatten that out. Yeah? I don't want too much flour. So, what's going to happen is it's going to dry your pastry. Yeah? Move it into the glass. Glass Yeah, So everybody gets a tiny little piece of butter and we'll line our, line our uh, moulds, yeah? What? Please tell me you just this one. This. Grande. All this. So basically, yeah, you put your, blood, your beans in, and basically all it's going to do is going to give it an even surface for, for cooking. It's also going to stop your pastry from bubbling up, so you keep it nice and flat. Um, yeah, just so that it keeps a nice even even bake. Yeah. So we've got vanilla ice cream is on. We've got pastry and blend baking. Okay. So the next job is passion fruit cup. So we've all got. You can see the recipe says 200 grams of passion fruit puree. Next to it, it says reduce to 100 grams. Do we know, know what reduce means? No. Cook it down. Why, why do we do that? For what reason? It makes things thicker, yes. But the main reason for doing things like that is 
to intensify the flavour. Okay? So what you're doing is if you've got 200 milliliters, 200 grams of a certain flavour of liquid, if you bring that down, you've got less water potentially and more of the flavour. So it just makes your flavour a lot stronger. It's like a concentrate. Imagine like diluting juice, you get the double strength stuff, it's because there's less water in it and more sugar sort of. Okay? So we've got 200 grams of puree, we need to reduce that to 100 grams. Okay, so everybody needs to get a patch food puree, 200 grams, into a pot, and put that on the heat. Right. Oh, I need to put these back through for Yep, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 So you see, look, freezer ready for the ice cream. Yes, chef. Yeah. We'll just get that straight in. We need castor sugar and we need water. Right? So we read, read the recipe, scoop out the passion fruit seeds, add in the sugar and the water, bring it to the boil. Brilliant. So what are we doing here? What are, what are, what are we going to do? We want to wash this. In half, we scoop out the seeds into a pot. Add the water, add the sugar, so everything into one pot and put it on the heat. That is okay. it. Okay? Okay? You're going to do your own. You can see that. If you've got it in a jug, just use the jug. Don't use the legs. Just. Chef, I might become a pastry chef. Okay, I need some washing up to disappear from here. Yes. So, do we know what the different types of meringues are? No, so Italian meringue, French meringue, Swiss meringue. Do you know what that is? No. So French meringue is egg whites and sugar whisked up, just cold egg whites and sugar. Yeah. But if you need a cooked meringue, a stable meringue, do a French meringue. It's the quickest and easiest way. Okay. So we're gonna do it. So as a general rule for a meringue, it's two parts sugar to one part egg white. Okay, so if you've got 50 grams of egg whites, you need 100 grams of sugar. So that's 100 grams of egg, of, of egg white, 200 grams of sugar. Yeah? All understand that? So, so I've got 200 grams of sugar, 60 grams of water, yeah? So what we do here, if everybody has a quick look at this. Give a quick little stir about, yeah? Make sure all your sugar's wet, yeah? We all see that? So, go that way now. So, we've got 200 grams of sugar. How much, how much egg white do we need? That's it. No, we're doubling that recipe. Okay, so egg whites there, that's there, and this we need to put onto the heat. When you're whisking egg whites, what's the golden rule for your mixing bowl? Make sure it's clean. Sure it's clean. Fat free. Fat free, clean. Yep. Yeah. Not far off of room temperature now. Still a little bit warm, but it's not. I mean, it's never going to get fridge cold. So a good way to test your meringue. If it falls on your head, it's not ready. If it doesn't, and it is ready. Right, I'll have to do that again. Nothing there. We got here last week when we tasted it. Yeah. So blinis with the caviar. Tarts cooked if you want to come out with a quick look. Yeah. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah. These have turned out quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> you proud? Absolutely. So, at this point, it's up to anybody how they want to do anything, yeah? So, so you can either just do pieces around the outside, you can cover the whole thing, or you can just do half. You know, it's up to it's up to yourself. So with my I'll say I'll just do I'll do half of it. Yeah. Then we've got this here as well. <laughs> just Yeah. Passion fruit. 